is about 618 in time now for What's Trending. Some 40 Hungarian husbands with their wives on their backs clamored over rough terrain over the weekend in the nation's second wife-carrying contest. The event's organizers said, we have just emerged from a difficult period due to the coronavirus and we need to go and have fun in the open air. Well, they certainly did. The contest is said to have origins dating back to the Viking Age. In modern times, the tradition is particularly established in Finland, where it's taken place since the 1990s. Estonian races have lent their name to the Estonian style of wife carrying, with the wife upside down and her feet over the husband's shoulders, rather than a classic <laughs> piggyback. And it uh, looks like oh. those are some good sports right there. Those wives are... Uh, they, they seem okay to be dragged through the mud a little bit. Um, but this is fun. We, we covered this last year, and it actually blew my mind, uh, you know, that it had already been a year. It felt like maybe six months ago, or, or maybe a, a while ago that we talked about it, actually. But um, here we are, the Hungarian wife. I mean, what, what do you guys think about this at first? This is your first time hearing about it, right? Yeah, I've never heard of this. I, I was just just laughing at the video. <laughs> it was just so funny to see. Um, I, I just wonder if like any like wife gets mad. It's like, why didn't you carry me as quick? You know, like, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, sure just, some, I'm sure there's some of that yeah, though. But you I, know what? Yeah. You know what? It's just really entertaining to just see that though. And I'm sure, I think we saw a video last year where her husband's purposely dunk their wives' heads into the water. Uh, so yeah. I so, I, so yeah. I think in, that, in the video you saw there, most of that was like unintentionally slip and fall or something yeah. like that. But it's all just an enter entertainment and probably just strengthening that, strengthening that marriage bond too. Oh, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's definitely trials and tribulations right there. <laughs> um, but speaking of competition, as the Tokyo 2020 games wound down over the past weekend, astronauts aboard the International Space Station held their own zero-G Olympic Games. Video from the ISS shows the astronauts competing in no handball, synchronized floating, <laughs> and no gravity gymnastics, to name a few. The astronauts split themselves into two international teams. It's Team Soyuz, um, or Suze, and Team Dragon. <laughs> the games were all done in good fun and unity, and NASA did not clarify if any mock gold medals were handed out to the winners, or if the in-space Olympiad was for bragging rights only. That's uh, that's funny. I, we just talked about this yesterday, how people are kind of bringing their own Olympic games into, you know, different situations. We talked about the Doggy Olympics, mm -hmm. um, that one couple was raising um, money for such a great cause and doing all of the games. Uh, right. So I think it's fun. You know, you might as well have fun with it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, the, then, I mean, what else are you going to do up there on the International Space Station? True, true. They got to find things to do to pass the time, I'm sure. Um, you know, I wonder how many card games have been played, you know, and <laughs> yeah. how much money certain people owe each other probably when they get back down to Earth. But, um, <laughs> But no, I think this is really great, and, it, and it's awesome to see them. And I'm sure you know so many people, so many astronauts up there from different countries too. So I'm mm -hmm. sure that they've been uh, cheering, cheering their own countries on throughout the games as well. Oh yeah, I'm kind of kind of sad that what is it, 32nd Olympiad just got done and everything, and it's kind of tough already. But it is, it's great, to, it's great to see this other places is getting involved with that. And you know what, here in the Northwoods, you almost wonder what could be a fun Olympic sport too that could be this local to the Northwoods, mm. maybe sw uh, water water skiing, jet, water skiing, uh, barefoot. Foot water skiing. Barefoot that water would be skiing. a good one to add. What about log chopping? Like chop. Oh like yeah, with the lumberjacking. Yeah, yeah lumberjacking. That would be a good one. Yeah, lumberjacking. Yeah, that would be a good one too. Because mm -hmm. musky fishing. <laughs> yeah, musky fishing. We, we have so many musky fishing tournaments it. already. Might as well make it an Olympic yeah. event, right? All right. Northwoods <laughs> we Olympics keep, coming up. We keep up. thinking about this, but we don't have no time for that, no. do we? <laughs> but meanwhile, though. It's the beginning of the week, so it's not like you have any plans to go camping, right? I'm sure some of you do already, but you can still enjoy the best part of the camping trip, the s'mores. I do enjoy the s'mores. Today is National S'mores Day. It observed every year on August 10th. Most of you probably already know this, but s'mores consists of roasted marshmallows and a piece of chocolate bar between two graham crackers. The campfire favorite is rumored to have been invented by the entrepreneur Alec Barnum. According to NationalDayCalendar.com, the first s'mores recipe appeared in 1927, publication of, tra of tramping and trailing with the Girl Scouts. So that's very entertaining there to, mm -hmm. to see that. And I know for, uh, for my family, we not only do we enjoy the s'mores, Add some ice cream to it too, and chocolate sauce. Ooh. So what we call s'more Sunday. Well, that's Ew. very cool. And I you know, gotta the, try that. The Girl Scouts actually just unveiled a new uh, s'mores, or I don't know if it's new or not, but they have a s'mores cookie. But uh, it's pretty cool that you can thank thank the Girl Scouts for the OG recipe. So we'll just, <laughs> we'll, we'll, just, we'll just make sure to blow up your phone if it's if, if it is new or not. Just be like, just blow up Peter, Peter's uh, office phone uh, or not. <laughs> uh <-oh. laughs>